What is up, y'all? It's the Eric V, your stream teacher here. And I come to you with my very first ever streamer school product review provided by Elgato. I'm able to do a little bit of more magic than you may be whoops, used to. And that is largely due in part to the Stream Deck foot pedal. With this, we have three additional buttons, hands-free, to control our stream, or even to control our game. Let's unbox it, and let's get into the review. Class is in session. And here we have the Stream Deck pedal, which Elgato was nice enough to send me. However, that does not mean this review will be unbiased. It seems I don't need my box cutter for this one, which I feel like kind of leads into the theme of what I think of the Stream Deck pedal before I even open it, which is accessibility. It seems like using less, I can obtain the same amount. And if you've been, or if you watch my videos in the future, you'll see that Elgato sent me a few things and everything was taped so I did need my box cutter but for this that was not the case you open it almost like a box of cereal maybe and within the box we have the surprise surprise it's the stream deck pedal and here it is it has three pedals on it we have left right and center and a USB-C port on the back which I'll always love to see USB-C the less micro USB I see the better and we have our quick start guide which tells us how to install the software how to plug in the USB how to assign buttons to the pedal and it seems there are springs that you can use different sizes yep and here they are in the box we have 2000 tension we have metal pedal stoppers we have 1400 tension 1000 and 700 these middle stoppers do exactly what the name implies and that is stop the middle footrest if you don't want to press it anymore you lose a button but you gain a footrest so choose at your own risk i prefer to have three hands free buttons personally let's put this baby to use and of course we're gonna need the USB C for that once plugging in the stream deck i did notice that a overlay popped up in my upper left corner of my monitor and i did assign these the light buttons that you saw me use in the intro and I can click on them or I can step on the corresponding pedal to interact with them. And it's not a whole lot of pressure that's needed to press down on it to make things react. But as I showed earlier, you can use different spring tensions to adjust that to your liking. If we go into the stream deck, this did get an update as soon as I plugged it in and it said, hey, we got a new product. It's called the Stream Deck Pedal, which I already had. So luckily I was able to set that up to do my cool little light tricks. And honestly, if you've used a Stream Deck, you've used the Stream Deck Pedal, except the Stream Deck Pedal is used with your feet. Unless you use your Stream Deck with your feet, then that's pretty impressive. But you're able to set things up the same way you would. So let's say for instance, I had a potty mouth, which we know for sure I do not. And I wanted to have a sensor beep tied to my foot while I'm playing the game. I could just use my foot, press the pedal down, which I won't right now since I don't have voice mod installed, but I could bleep myself whenever I want. That didn't sound right. You know what I meant? I could center myself whenever I wanted to. So as you can see, the Stream Deck pedal is great if you are for one disabled or if you want some cool features you can throw in there. The ones I just thought of that I could probably use it for is a death counter, but I never die. But also sensor beep, leaning in game like Rainbow Six, which I think is super cool. You can use it to push the talking and you can use it to change cameras as well if you use a multi-camera setup, especially great if you're doing a podcast. It allows you to do a great job of keeping your hands and your head 
in the game. With the price of $89.99 and it being out of stock, I would say if your lighting isn't exactly how you want it or your audio or your camera, I would suggest making those upgrades first before purchasing one of these three button stream deck pedals. If this video helped inform your purchase, feel free to leave a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to come see me use the stream deck pedal, come on by my Twitch stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and old school Saturday at twitch.tv slash the Eric V. I'd like to say once again, thanks to Elgato for sending me the stream deck pedal early, as well as Tinkalicious for believing that I could review this product competently. And hopefully I'll be competent at using the stream deck pedal at least more than I am at using the Thrustmaster driving wheel. Particular alert plays. Woof! It's when somebody's been subscribed for over a year. Or 12 months. Um, plus, y'all yeah, didn't see that. <laughs> Class dismissed. Don't be like me. Yeah, I was ready for your bitch ass. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for him though. <laughs> Oh, come on. I, n I missed out on that shit. Damn! Oh, God! The fuck? Hold on! What the fuck? No, no, no. What the fuck is that? Oh, man.